Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina, Lake Taney Como. Jackson and I are going to do one cast today. It's uh, Thursday, the, I think it's the 18th. Yeah, 18th of May. Well, I boated up here just above the River Point boat ramp. And when I left the dock, <laughs> I had a plan. I was going to drift scuds again. But I was going to drift really from Trout Hollow down or maybe Short Creek down. Um, so when I started out, I noticed a big wet spot on the bank. And I thought, I'm not running four units anymore. I get up here, and there's about a four foot wet spot, which means they're down to two units. They dropped the water a bunch here in the last hour or so. So I ran up a little bit further. Um, actually, I thought about running even further up, but the idea is, is to fish a little different area than I fished yesterday. And this weight is all tangled up. There we go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fish from here past Trout Hollow. Let's we'll see how far we go. But the water's a lot slower, so it's going to take me longer to get down there. And I didn't want to do a big long one cast like I did yesterday. So, I've got a 10 and a gray, 12 scud, two pound line, number four split shot. Ought to be good. Never know. Never, never, ever know. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to get a lot. Oh, the fish are midging too. That would have been my other choice is uh, either throw a 30 second ounce jig and work the close to the surface or bring a fly rod and, and uh, actually throw a zero midge. But I already rigged these rods up to drift uh, the two scud rig, so that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> we got our pool plastered today. They applied the plaster for the bottom of the pool, so we're a lot closer to being done now. I'd give it 10 days, two weeks. We should have it open. Till then, we've got our old pool open. I can see the bottom. It's probably about seven, eight foot deep here, but the bottom's pretty clean. <clears throat> the gravel's pretty clean. This, this heavy generation's really cleaned out the, the lake. It'll start getting mossed up now that the water's not running too hard. But this is, uh, they're scheduled to run two units most of the day tomorrow. And uh, I think it's supposed to go to three units at some point. So a lot slower generation, but ought to make fishing easier, although a lot of guys that left today, actually left yesterday too, said they had really good trips with the four units and the floodgates running, they caught a lot of fish, and I think most of them were fishing the scuds. So, that will make dock fishing a lot easier. Down below the ramp, it's gotten a lot deeper. It's probably 10, 10, 12 foot deep now. I can barely see the bottom. I 
I probably need to check my flies for moss. So nothing on the first cast. Well, my weight has moss on it, but the flies didn't. <coughs> This ought to be a really nice weekend. It's not supposed to rain Saturday or Sunday. <coughs> Tomorrow it's supposed to be pretty warm, so throwing some rain gear. <coughs> rain shouldn't bother the fish much. Check flies again. They're really fun. We'll go out in the middle. Oops. Go out in the middle. I might not make it to try it all though. <clears throat> I 
I might not make it down here with these scuds. You know me, I'm I'm like, um, I ought to be throwing a jag. This slower water. Pretty much have to force myself to drift anything. If I don't catch a fish by the time I get past this long dock, I'm tying a jig on. Halfway. a nice drift. Perfect evening. Fish are midging. Driving me nuts. Oh, that was a snag. I feel like I'm bouncing over a tree. Oh, I just caught a fish. I'm right at the very end. I felt it. I was going over a tree and I pulled it up over the tree and I caught a fish. Does this mean I have to fish a scud for the rest of the evening? I'm down to where it's supposed to be really hot. It has been hot. We caught three fish down through here. Nice little rainbow. Well, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to point the camera a little bit more that way. Just wonder how many people are rooting for a, for a jag about right now. We're saying now you need to stay with the scud. I guess I could do these things live and get reactions. I don't want to do that. First time I've seen this many fish midging in a while. Like on the way back from running back last night, the midges were thick. That was a fish. I just missed him. Come back. Maybe yeah, I'll catch a big brown. Right in front of Short Creek.
That's a cute little brain bell. I don't think the app is going to say what they're running because it's usually behind. Well, two units. Yeah. As of 7 p.m., two units. So, it's about right. Seems like it's a light two minute, two units. It might be one. They might have dropped it to one. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's just check it real quick. Yeah, yeah, I got moss on them. I'm glad I checked. Nice fish coming up and taking midges. They're running two units tomorrow evening. I know what I'm going to do for one cast if I do it. <clears throat> I'm bring the fly rod out and do um, fish a zebra midge or maybe strip a soft tackle. I'm sure you can't see it over there on the log. He's a big, big raccoon. And he has, he has a mink. Oh, he just jumped on him. Had a mink coming up behind him, swimming up behind him, and the mink just jumped on the raccoon. I can try to blow that up, but I'm sure you can't see it. And I just had a bite. Oh, he's coming back. 
No, oh, he's swimming back up. He must have been close to to a den or a nest or something. That may take an exception to the coon. Never, I've never seen that. The mink jumped right on its back. And he's swimming back down towards the coon again. That's funny. Tell you, I've, this has slowed down to, to a crawl. really going too slow. I've got too much weight on. I gotta throw a jig, sorry. I think it's down to one unit. Or so, uh, it's so slow. I should have caught that fish. It had a bite, but it was being entertained. Sixteenth ounce sculpin jig. Just gonna finish it out. Throw the jig. Might be a three thirty second. Actually, it's a PJ's. So it's I think it's the sixteenth. Okay. I wish I had, had not caught that rainbow. I would have thrown the jig long before now. This is more like a 30 second ounce. You know, I might, uh, I hate to go long. I'd like to go back up there where they're bedging really good. Let's 
Good rainbow. <clears throat> nice fat eater. I'm probably working it no more than three or four foot deep. There's so many fish on the surface that I don't really need to go very deep, I don't think. All right. bigger fish. Ooh. Oh well. Didn't break my line. Swallows are back. See, I knew they'd kill a jig this evening. Always a nice solid fish. Class cast. I said I'd go to Trout Hollow, I'm just about there. jig tomorrow. With this water going down, jig's going to be really good. I think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.